He then brought some curds and milk and the calf that had been prepared and set these before them. While they ate, he stood near them under a tree. Mm -hmm. Um, It's always weird to see angels acting (laughs) so human. They have free will. They can eat. They can drink. Uh, What really differentiates them from us? I, I mean... You know, in many ways, I feel like an angel is just like a better version of a human. In fact, after death, how will humans and angels even differ? Will there be a need for them? Yeah. Um, I think the question whether or not they are angels or manifestations of Yahweh, we've already uh, addressed. Um, Nevertheless, they appear to have a need for food, according to Psalm 79. Yeah, oh, okay. Psalm 79, 24 through 25 states, He rained down manna for the people to eat. He gave them the grain of heaven. Human beings ate the bread of angels. He sent them all the food they could eat. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that... Metaphorical or literal? It does seem metaphorical. You know, just bread from heaven, from Mm -hmm. God. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure that's a smoking gun. It does say human beings ate the bread of angels. Right. 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 (laughs) Um, It's hard to know if this means the angelic beings required food or not, but if the gods require feeding via sacrifice, then certainly the children of God, a.k.a. angels, require food also. But if there is a special bread in heaven already, why the sacrifices? Are these better than God's handmade bread? Yeah. And, um, I mean, they probably don't need to eat because what are they going to do? Die? The angels? Yeah. If they don't eat, you mean? Right. Well, actually, according to ancient Near Eastern religion, yes. That, that is the important thing is that the, the toil on the earth is done by humans so that the gods can survive by means of sacrifice. Oh. Okay. So huh. in ancient Near Eastern religion, that was how the gods su- subsisted. That's why it was so important to offer the sacrifices. Oh, okay. Okay. I think in the Old Testament, the, the god we see tries to be differentiated from the ancient Near Eastern god that is required to subsist off sacrifices. Um. So maybe this is just a remnant from that? It definitely seems... The psalm or something else? The fact that they have to eat and drink or... I think the psalm might just be kind of poetic. Yeah. It, I don't. I tend not to treat the psalms as though they are uh, authoritative discourses. Right, I get that. Because you have to give them a poetic license, mm-hmm. right? So, but this was the only thing I could find in the Old Testament about angels actually uh, having consumed food in heaven, although they at least consume food on the earth. I guess I just assumed they were doing it because they were being nice. I mean, I guess mm-hmm. I never really thought they needed to eat. You know what I mean? Right. But of course, I have no idea. I mean, if they don't need to eat, why can they eat? <laughs> right. And. If they have the ability to eat, and we know they have the ability to procreate, Uh then what happens when they're in heaven and not on earth? Are their bodies somehow different and no longer need these things? Right. 